Hi everyone and welcome back in my RC garage. Thanks for watching. Today I have a big box here on my workbench. Are you curious like me what's inside? Ok, let's open the box. As you can see it's the Thrasher V3 jet boat from Streamline RC. I think the most amazing RC jet boat on the market. I'm really glad I got one. Here are some tips and advice on how to use the new Thrasher and some important information. The boat comes ready to run, so here a 2.4 GHz pistol transmitter from Fly Sky is included. This is the decal sheet to add a nice design to the boat. Available are 5 different designs. I have chosen the striker scheme. Here it is, it's made an exceptional quality and it's impressive jet drive. And look at how strong the hull is made. This keel protects the hull from bow to stern, so stones or large chumps cannot damage the bow. Now let's open the hatch and check the interior. This is the battery compartment. This is the waterproof receiver. The water cooled motor with the cooling hose. And this is the speed controller also water cooled. This round piece here is a bilge pump that always runs and automatically pumps out water that has entered into the hull. And this is the steering servo. Of course, all components are waterproof. Now let's take a look at the radio. It's a standard 2.4 GHz pistol transmitter with all the necessary functions. Next, I will add the decals to the boat. Now the decals are applied and it looks very good. I like this design. Next I install the battery. I use a 6 cell LiPo with 5300 milliamps capacity. Now I switch on the transmitter and connect the battery to the controller. The peep sounds indicates that the controller is armed and the continuous tone comes from the blinch pump. The steering works. But I don't turn the motor, it should never run without water because the bushings on the drive shaft will wear out quickly without water. All these components are built to work together extremely well. No modifications are necessary. The only modification I did on the boat are the two pilots. I used a new multi-purpose driver figure from Tamiya. 
In my opinion, these fit well in this boat, and I hope they do a good job maneuvering this boat through rough water. One more advice. Do not try to seal the hatch with a rubber band or tape. The self rightening function only works when the water can enter the hull. But no worries, the blinch pump removes immediately the water and all components are 100% waterproof. Now we are ready for a first run. So here we are at Lake Hellwheel, not far from my home. I choose a lake to be safer for the first run. I'm absolutely impressed how good maneuverable this boat is and how stable it goes on the water even with these bigger waves. Now I run it only about half throttle, so more speed is possible, but I don't want to overdo it on the first run. And the sensitive throttle control is necessary due to the excessive power of the jet drive. I'm absolutely excited how this boat turns, just amazing! I can't wait to run it in rivers, streams and rapids. So that's it for now, soon I'll make a cinematic video in a river with rapids. I'm looking forward to run the boat in those conditions. Stay tuned to see that. If you like it, this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.